Yeah, I don't know. I think what I hope is that people are getting more and more, are realizing more and more that there is something very peculiar about live mu music and live performance. And you get so used to recordings and assume that that's the kind of definitive version of something that when you see, especially with Steve Reich stuff, when you see all the effort that's going into it and all the sweat and the sinews and the coordination and people sitting down and standing up and joining in and stopping again and, and keeping this thing moving, it's you realize that when you hear it you know, out of a couple of speakers, it's just a big, um, big compromise. And, and you're, it's, it's, you can't substitute one with the other, I think. Um, yeah, I think people just have to come and see a few concerts and they realize that it's, it's something that, that you know, it's really worth investigating, I think. Yeah, it's, it's seeing the effort and, and hearing how, yeah, we were talking about this last night and, and I was and, and saying that if you had a guy just leaning over a, a laptop and creating the same kind of effects with, you know, phasing rhythms and I was trying to work out why that is so different than, than seeing eight people clustered around a couple of, vib of, um, a couple of marimbas and doing similar things. Why is that better? Because I, th I mean, I think it is. I think it's much better. And I, I'm, I, I don't know, I'm still undecided whether it's a kind of snobbery that I prefer one over the other. But I think it's more that the sense that something can still go wrong with the percussionist and, then it's, and, it's, and it's repetitive, but it isn't. It's not. It's, 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 all, it's, it's still flowing and moving and it's all down to the individual's kind of how he feels that day and what he's playing. And, it's, and the music is just kind of filling the room and it's going into the walls and that's the end of it, it's gone, it's not, you know, and I sh that's such a strange thing to me, I think, which is stupid, but then I think it's just because I'm raised on, on recording and, and you know, um, repeatability and, and how strange that, 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 you know, that music doesn't have to be like that, you know. It reminds me of going to buy my first turntable when I was 20 or something, and I had to ask the guy about, you know, styluses and how does it work? What it's such a just because I'd I'd missed out on it and I didn't know what it was, really, you know, and how they work and it's and it's a bit like that with concerts. That's how I kind of feel the same thing. It's you know I've started doing it on Radiohead tours. We have if you have a day off then you look at the local listings and it it can be great. I've seen um you know, when we were in Alabama last time that we saw the the local symphony orchestra to playing whatever they were playing on the night we were in town and and it's great it's really it's a really nice way to see kind of see america americans out sort of you know mm -hmm. you know really love it and some of my f the you know favorite experiences have been hearing you know going to american venues and hearing orchest orchestras and stuff